guys, mabuhay and welcome to our channel, uh, Planting with F and Grace. It's a brand new day, isn't it? And it's time for another plant to learn. Ito na naman ang inyong hardinerong kapitbahay at inyong kapwentuhan. Tara, samahan nyo ako. Thank you for all those people who are with us learning new things about our favorite plants. And for those who want to learn more about our channel, we invite you to subscribe with our YouTube channel. We also encourage you to make some comments about the video that you're watching right now and suggest some of the plants that you want us to talk about. And we're going to do our best to get it for you. Okay? So today, we're going to have, um, uh, well, before we start our vlog, we are already collecting some of the unique plants that we have. And we started with succulents and cacti. Today, I'm going to give you, or I'm going to talk about, one of the first batch of cacti that we're able to have in our house. So this is what we call now as the um, Gymnocalisium mihanovici, or what we call now as the cat's eye. Now, what is the difference between this particular cacti and some of the cacti that we are able to see in the market? So this particular cacti is actually has a mutation of yellow pigmentation dun sa body ng ating cacti. Um, and also, uh, mahalo yung ating natawag nating green. So, green and yellow siya. Now, in this particular plant, you're able to know that the, 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 the spikes na meron tayo sa cacti na to, this is actually your modified leaves of the cacti. And the body of this cacti is actually the, the source of the, uh, the, the process of photosynthesis or yung paggawa ng pagkain ng isang cacti. Uh, another thing is, if you're able to notice also, yung mga, uh, malabas yung mga, mga, mga maliliit na pops niya doon sa body, yung attachment niya doon sa ating um, cat's eye. Now, why do you call that cat's eye? Kasi yung mga pigmentation niya ng yellow, actually, pag, ma pag maganda yung kanyang mutation, um, nagiging para siyang maliliit na mata ng pusa, parang mata ng pusa. Kaya sa tinawag na cat's eye. Now, uh, let's talk about the soil medium. Okay, the soil media that we are able to use here is actually a mixture of um, pumice rocks, um, humus, and also we put some of the uh, slow-release fertilizer. Well, the pumice rocks is about mga 75% of it, yung total soil medium nito, and yung 25% nito ay siguro, or 20% nito ay mga, mga vermicast, o yung natawag natin mga mga matu, manure na nilabas ng ating ng mga earthworms I mean so yung slow release fertilizer ay sinasama din namin dito so uh, because the soil medium is highly draining so I mean madalis siyang magwala mawala yung water so it is the uh, there's a possibility na lahat ng nutrients niya ay mawala din that's why sinusupply lang natin yung slow release fertilizer so that mayroon pa ring matitirang uh, nutrition doon sa ating soil mixture so, uh, in terms of the watering, we are not advise you to put water directly doon sa mismong cacti. We encourage you to put the water doon sa side niya. O yung as, as much as possible, hindi nababasa yung pinaka body ng ating cacti. Kasi there are some small depression doon sa loob na it could capture some of the, um, some of the water. And that is really, um, yung nagsisimula, yung tinatawag nating rotting or pagtutubo ng mga fungi doon sa ating cacti. And it's not really good. Okay. So, um, in terms of the propagation, there are two types of propagation. One is asexual and the other one is sexual. So, in this particular cacti, the cat's eye, um, the, uh, we have here the asexual reproduction, which is tumutubo yung mga pups niya doon sa body ng mother plant. And it's really nice for you if you want to do some propagations. The other type of reproduction is yung tinatawag nating uh, pagtubo naman ng bulaklak or yung cross-pollination. If you have two types or if you have um, two uh, of this particular variety, well, that is good because you could create a pure variety or pure breed of yung tinatawag nating cat's eye. Okay, pero kung hindi naman, well, I think yung ating mga, ba, mga baby pops na yan, that would be a good start for us to do the propagation of this particular plant. Now, reproduction. So, we, we have mentioned already about the 
the propagation. So, we have very small pops, yan, maraming pops yan. Pero before that, hanggang sa ilalim, marami siyang pops. Masipag kasi itong tong cacti na to. And uh, we, we do or some experiment about how to propagate this one. So, I'm going to show you this particular pops. Okay? So, this is actually, uh, I use the material here. Uh, I, I make a, mat a material here. Yung uh, lalagyan ng ice cream. Okay? So, meron siyang maliit nito at saka yung cover niya. Um, so, uh, this is actually, um, uh, siguro, we can say, um, DIY na uh, na green uh, na greenhouse kumbaga kasi nga it could uh, it could uh, sustain or um, binabawasan natin yung other factors that can influence the growth of our um, cat's eye so I used the same um, soil medium here nag-add lamang ako ng lava rock para ma-prohibit naman natin yung mga pagdami ng mga ibang insekto okay so if, able, if you're able to to notice meron na siyang magandang barrications. So, ma-observe na natin yung pag-yellow nung ating uh, cat's eye. Okay? So, um, how, um, ano kagandahan ito? So, actually, when we put down the cover here, may iwasan natin yung, um, first, yung hangin, yung insekto, um, at saka pag-water siya ng weekly. Kasi nga, yung, since na naka-cover siya, yung water ay nagsisirculate lamang sa loob ng ating uh, system. Well, I put also some drainage hole here para hindi naman ma, um, ma-submerge sa water yung ating cacti. And of course, kung umuulan ng malakas, hindi naman siya talaga totally nababasa. So, kung yan ay nag-form nag ng, ng, ng moisture dito, the tendency now is yung bumaba naman dito yung mga water. Okay? So, that's why... Uh, Let's see kung ano mangyayari dito sa ating sistema. Well, I put this one, itong system, itong system na to sa ilalim ng mga ng mga uh, ibang plant, sa ilalim ng plant. So, medyo covered siya ng konti. So, we could say that parang it, it resembles primarily sa pagiging indoor niya. Okay. So, by the way, this particular mother plant, inilagay namin siya sa loob ng bahay. Hindi naman siya inilabas. That's why if you're able to notice, hindi ka doon kataas ang kanyang variegations. Kasi remember that factors such as sunlight can um, give the coloration of the cat's eye. Okay? The more na exposed siya sa araw, the more na maganda yung kanyang variegation. So let me show you what happened doon sa ating babies or pups na na-exposed sa, um, sa ating sa araw. Okay? So, see? This is just a pops. Batch siya nung una. Okay? Um, actually, magkaedad. Yung nandito sa loob at saka yung nandito. So, if you're able to notice, and let's just compare, see the difference? Nung dalawa. Okay? Okay. So, the one that is exposed in the sunlight is actually, meron siya color na red yellow, and yung kanyang green colorations. Um, then, the other one is, yung hindi exposed sa sunlight or direct sunlight, siya ay merong uh, yellow lamang and green. So, we can say na maganda talaga if you're able to focus or if you're able to do uh, the uh, the planting directly sa sunlight. However, ang isa sa mga mahirap lamang dito is, of course, prone siya doon sa mga insekto, prone siya sa malakas na ulan, tubig, and mga iba-ibang factors. Bisan nga, kinakalkal siya ng ibon. And that's really not good. Kasi minsan, yung, yung kasabay nito na isa, actually namatay na. Kasi nga, um, kinalkal ng ibon. And that's not really good. And it's not really nice. So, the light and temperature is also already a factor on this particular system. Okay? So, if you decided na mag-alaga ng cat's eye and you really want to have a good coloration of this one, well, it's nice for you to subject it directly sa sunlight. Pero, kailangan lang natin siyang itabi or ilayo kung saan siya ay mauulan na ng malakas or matutubigan siya ng maraming. Okay? So, I think that's all. Well, don't forget to watch our, and like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and bye!